All right, we are back. We freaking went through the Torment Peak. We saved the Monkey Mama. Let's go check on the Monkey Mama. Let's go see. Is she just chilling out here? She's not. Where'd she go? Did she go back to, uh... Did she go back to... Did she go to my town? I really like that the sprites are, like, a little bit Chrono Trigger-esque. And, uh, so, like, I've, I've talked to people about, like, if Chrono Trigger ever got a remake, like, I don't want to see a full 3D remake because I don't think they could do it justice. I don't think it would, it needs it. Chrono Trigger, I think it's perfect, just like Crispy Pixels, you know, would make it better and not the Steam version, for the love of God. Um, and not the, you know, and only make the, the animated CG cutscenes optional. But I've told people, like, you could do Chrono Trigger remade in 2D HD. I think that could be done. I think that could be done pretty well. But, but I will say, like, as even though I'm a fan of 2D HD, this this style also I like. Like, it's it doesn't have to be 2D HD. I like the style of 2D HD. I don't think it needs to be done for everything because, like, variety is the spice of life. So if you can just, you know, if you could do it, have multiple styles, like you have lists, like the, the CSR style, you know, this, Chrono Trigger could be remade in this style and it would, it would fit perfectly. You know, you could have a, a Chrono Sprite that looks like that, you know, you could have a Marl Sprite, you know, it, it would be awesome. It could look really cool. It doesn't, it doesn't have to look like the Akira Toriyama style, although I don't know why you would change it because that's... I feel like that's just that's the the style of Chrono Trigger is as much a part of what Chrono Trigger is than like the music, like the music, the art style, all of it together makes Chrono Trigger. If you change how Chrono looks, if you change how the characters look, like how they look away from Akira Toriyama style, then that that's I think that would be a big ass change that not a lot of people probably would like. I certainly would not like them to, to stray away. Keep it the same, just make the sprites, you know, just smarten them up a little bit. You could you could do it like that. So if they ever were to do like a remake of Chrono Trigger, I could see it being like this or 2D HD. Um, I just hope it, you know, they would improve upon it, you know, and they would include all the content. Like, I think having the, you know, the, the DS content would be kind of cool. You could even tie in some, some other Chrono Cross stuff if you wanted to, you know? You could. You potentially could. But regardless, like... I, I don't think Chrono Trigger ever needs a remake. I just think it needs a definitive, like, release that has, you know... Uh, no lag when you go to the menus and the, crisp, uh, the pixels look crispy. Look really crispy. That's it. That's all I think it needs. Um, and just give the option to turn off the animated cutscene, like the, the CG cutscene that they added to the PlayStation version. God, I will keep on saying it for forever. That needs to be optional in the Steam version. That's the only thing that keeps the Steam version from being the definitive version of, of Chrono Trigger. Really. That and the stupid HP bars under the characters. That needs to get be, be gotten rid of too. But I've spent uh, too much time here rambling beginning of this episode. We saved the monkey mama. And now we can control this. So I'm guessing it's that because yeah, there's a path leading there. Is there anything else to uh, to shine on there? And oh, it's funny. The prism is just like the the triangles from Chrono Trigger 2. That's awesome. Well, let's go see what's over here. Mossy Cash. Is this just is this just a level or? What is this puzzle on the ground here? What am I looking at? Oh, you can just tell from, oh, you can just tell from the corners. Oh, this is, oh, this is easy as shit. Boom. There you go. T 
the hell is that? It looks like... It looks like the archivist guy bowing. He's being stepped on. Clearly, there's a foot here. Is this the story of, like, at the Fleshmancer, as as Fos, whatever his name is. Shit. I already forgot what his name is. Ash Foss. Ash something. <laughs> it's like ass something. It looks like he's being stepped on. It could be that maybe he trapped him in that tower. Maybe. Oh, the vial of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. Let's take it to Roshan. Now, if only I can get tossed, you know, to where he is. Actually, no, it's... You know, it's back in the Dakari village. No, it, no, it's not that far. Okay. Like Dakari, yeah. I, so, okay, so the, the obvious thing is that the vial of, of time is what is what Garl's gonna need. He's either gonna need the whole flask or he's gonna need like a few droplets. He's gonna be like, can I get a flask of that? Can I get a little bit of it? Hey, the children are running around. Uh, okay, where was the, where did I get teleported at? Was it in here? Where? Shit, I forgot where it was. Where did I get teleported in from? Oh no, I already forgot. Where? Did I just, I just appeared here, didn't I? Or did I, did I appear at the lake? Oh my god, I already forgot. Wait. My part has been played! Godspeed, a safe journey! So I just... I guess, can I just run back to the tower here? Oh no. There's... No, there's gotta be... A, there's gotta be a fast way back to him. There had to be a door. Where was the damn door? I already forgot. <laughs> Alright, I had to take the... I had to basically run all the way back through this tower. Luckily, like all the orbs are still there, so I just had to fly up. But I don't know where that quick warp that I took out of out of the archivist area. I don't know if there was like a, another way a quick way to go back or if that's like a one-way trip. I guess we'll find out right now, but finally made it back here. Look, there's the orb. I completely forgot where it was if it, if there was another one somewhere. Rashawn, we have your vial. It appears you do, but we should make sure it's not an imitation. Carl, would you kindly throw it at the wall? Uh, with all your strength. W won't it break? I hope so. Well, okay. <clears throat> Whoa! Vial of time. Oh, I've missed you. Thank you for recovering my most prized possession. You have shown much bravery. You better hold up your end of the bargain now. No more ends. Oh, make no mistake. I am coming with you. <laughs> He's not happy about it. But my code is strict, so are there are rules. First, I may assist in battle, but it is not my place to win for you. As such, I will match your power, but never exceed it. Ha! That's funny. Wait, you're wait, you're really going to? Next, no one other than the four of you can be aware of my true identity. You are to refer to me exclusively as Rashad, and most importantly, never the immortal alchemist. Got it. Might want to be extra careful around Teeks, though. Lastly, though importantly, I am under no circumstances allowed to fight a dweller. 
If a confrontation occurs with the dweller, a strife, that fight will be yours and yours alone. Understood. Shall we go then? Uh, Rashawn? Yes? You can't come, you can't come like this. Your robes are all tattered. Oh? What's wrong with my clothes? If you don't want people to know you're immoral, maybe clothes that have been decaying for millennia aren't the safest bet. <laughs> Fair enough. Fuja! Better? Totally. Then lead the way, Miss Island is to the northeast. The one with the giant stone head. Really? Wait, are we just gonna be back out? Oh, we are! Damn it, I wanted to take the portal to see where it would have dropped me off. Oh god, Teeks is talking to him. It's not to meet you, Teeks. I'm also a traveler, so it's. Rashawn, huh? Do you make potions? You can say that. Now, wait a minute. There's more to you. <laughs> I see. Don't worry, I won't tell. Would you mind though? You promise not to tell my true identity, you can have my story, yes. I promise, I just don't just don't stand still for here just wait. Just stand still for one second here and Oh Thanks. Hey, we're just wondering what to do with the glass dome. You can use it as a greenhouse. Come, I'll show you. What? Of course, you guys ready to stay, of course. Best holiday. That's where we're headed. Aye, that'd be roughly the. The north of here, big stone head, can't miss it. Just grab the wheel whenever you're ready. Wait. Wait. Go back. Go back in. Teeks just got a new story. Plus, I want to see where this guy is. Where's Rashan? Best now, it's just northeast. Whoa, it's giant stone head. Wow. He turned this during the captain's room to like a freaking like a greenhouse. All right, let's see if Teeks will tell us a story. Let's see. Maybe she has the new tale. Oh shit! I didn't even. Oh shit! Okay, 19 hours. Enemies defeated. 608. One death apparently. I've collected 2,597 2, gold. I've caught 42 fish. I've cooked 37 meals. Oh, there's still a lot. Wow. Hey, you want to hear a story? <gasps> yes! <laughs> Countless millennia ago, two powerful alchemists named Rashan and Aforo set out to create the elixir of life and succeeded. All, as all things in alchemy come at a price, the gift of immortality caused their bodies to decay, leading them to conceal their hideousness under co colorful robes. Reveling at first in the bright side of their immortal coil, they spent centuries nurturing the world and creating wonders to inspire its mortals. Over time, however, A4 grew increasingly jealous of the ephemerality he would never taste again. Thus began his wicked journey to the forbidden schools of alchemy. A journey which would see every last bit of good in his heart dissipate as he experimented with soul, bone, flesh, and blood alike. As fate would have it, Avoro fully embraced evil and emerged as the Fleshmancer, a vengeful immortal, plaguing the world with his monstrous creations. Rashan tried to end reading as best he could, but all that ensued was unspeakable chaos and collateral damage as the two former friends fought with godlike power. After much struggle, Rashan discovered the Flesh Minions' only weakness to be solar and lunar magic, a powerful bestowed a power bestowed upon those burn, born during a solstice. He began training these children to become solstice warriors, singularly tasked with culling the numbers of the Flinchmancer's creations. 
But A4O's knowledge was also growing, eventually he became capable of creating oddities of unlimited potential known as Dwellers. They would be impervious to all forms of magic except total, except during a total eclipse when Solstice Warriors would have a very short window to attempt taking them down. And Dwellers, in turn, were created in development, feeding on local life. Left to their own devices for too long, they would evolve into World Eaters, spelling doom for all. Armed with knowledge and power, Solstice Warriors would patrol the world, tracking dwellers to determine which should be taken down during the next eclipse. This reminds that when, now that I like think about it, when they say world eaters, it makes me think that part in the messenger where there's a giant freaking graboid that you have to run away from that literally is just eating the planet. I wonder if that if that's part of it. If they remained vigilant, they would never be they would never be a world eater, but Rashawn knew such a stalemate would only cause a to devise something even worse. In a desperate attempt to get ahead, Rashawn boldly performed transmutation alchemy on the very space-time continuum itself. After successfully splitting reality into countless timelines and parallel worlds, he shelved his alchemy vial and took up the mantle of Arch Archivist. On an endless journey across all realities, he would catalog every possible outcome in search of a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Meanwhile, Aphoro rejoiced at the infinite number of opportunities for destruction that he had just opened up that just opened up to him. To find some measure of peace amidst their immortal conflict, the two alchemists made a pact that led the fate of each timeline play out its own. Play out on its own. And so the game of cat and mouse began, played by Dweller and Solstice Warriors on one level, and by Rashan and A4 on another. Across a myriad of timelines and over innumerable centuries, some worlds would never be visited by A4, while others would be cursed by his mark. One mark, once marked, it would only be a matter of time until a world met its finality, often following centuries of struggle. Each would either be destroyed by a world eater, or permanently saved by the ascension of a pair of Solstice Warriors into Guardian Gods. As to when Rashan's plans on recomp recomposing the timelines, or whether he even knows how, remains to be seen. The end. Damn, that was an interesting story. So that's... So basically, all of this is happening because Rashan and a are, like, at odds. But they mutually are like... Are like, you know... We're gonna be doing this forever because we're both immortal now. So how about we just, you know, never interfere. We'll just see how it plays out. New music sheet. I right, give them here. Ah, you fancy a game of wheels? Oh shit! I didn't. Oh shit! I didn't know that she was gonna face me. I didn't. Oh. Um. Ugh. Oh, oh man, this is oh, this is just a game of of destroying walls. I almost feel like I should counteract with my own and mage. Okay. I can try to get ahead on this and just like. Yeah, I just get the first attack. Ugh. Ugh. Shit, if I can get that again, dude, that'd be amazing. Guess I could just build a wall. I guess I should just start building up the other one. There we go. Hopefully it's enough for him to attack. Oh, so close. Ow. <laughs> Shit. Hmm. I could just try to get the good one. So that's gonna build my wall and destroy his. If I can just, yeah, if I can just get a. 
good one here without them building a wall. Ugh! Ugh! Take that! Nope. Nope. Nope, you're dead. Whoa, that was okay. That was way. <laughs> wow, that was easier. Oh, shit. Well, you went and did it. Congratulations. Here's the prize a diamond wheel. Was that always there? Did I just never notice that? Well, we got. Okay. Yeah, yeah another wheel and no piece. Like. Like, what the hell? I can go to this. Okay, a level four wheel, a level three wheel. How do I switch the wheels? Does this make me stronger? Does this give me better chances for like rolls or what, what's going on? Like, is it just, these are just like badges of rank, copper, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and then what's next? What's next after diamond? Meteorite? Star? Platinum? Uh, I can't even think. I can't even think what else. What, what's higher than diamond? All right, let's just sell. Let's look at the map. In the bird. Treasure, map treasure in jungle path. What? Treasure left, treasure left in jungle path. What? Uh, where? Uh, why can't I disembark? There we go. Where in Jungle Path was there treasure? Like, I've done everything here. Where would there be treasure that I missed? Okay, there's nothing in the... I went there. I feel like I did everything here. Like, where, what possible other treasure is there that I missed? If I could just go straight down, let's just uh, check this out. Oh! Really? That had to be here, right? Let's see what the bird has to say now. All clear, Mark! All clear! All clear! <laughs> Wait, but before he was saying, Treasure left! I sold the chart! Treasure left! We're mini cave! I missed one for being cave? No need! <laughs> need to progress further for us, Pagak! <laughs> Treasure left! Let it give me Conch left in Moreland? I like how it says you need to progress further. I, that hella funny. There's a oh, there's a conch in the ancient crypt. What the shit? We got treasure. Ah, something to try. We got. Oh, that's cool. You okay? So you highlight the thing and it tells you. Well, I mean, I could backtrack for stuff, but I might as well just wait. Hold on. Okay, so Rashawn is in my team. So is that is that just it? Is that all the team members? I thought I remember seeing somewhere they were saying there were six party members. What is the skills? O Obeyance? Deals arcane magic while pulling enemies together. Oh. Remove a random lock on the target. Plus one if time. Oh. Soothing miss heals the party. Rashawn's ultimate attack. Does everyone have an ultimate attack? Oh my god, they do. How do you unlock it? Huh. Okay, well. Let's go. See, I see the prism right there. So how are we, we going to lift it out, though, is the thing. How, how's all that going to work? Get off here? Or do we go to the mouth? You said go to the mouth, right? 
Was this dock always here? The Mesa hike. This was not here before. Oh, okay. Now, 150 years should do it. Whoa! Good morning, Kuka! Master, have you come to check on my work? As you can see, I am not faulted. I commend your dedication. Thank you, Master. Uh, uh, eh? The water has risen quite a lot. How long was I asleep? An irrelevant matter for a long time ago, and it is. Wait. Aphra left a long time ago, and his acolytes have lost most of their powers. Will not happen again anytime soon. So Aphra is not even here anymore. Like the Fleshmancer, we're fighting the Fleshmancer, yet the Fleshmancer is not here. He's not in this world apparently. I understand. How can I help? These people are your friends. I understand. Your turn. Uh. Hello, Kukar. Greetings, friend. Can you help us in any way? I may do need to hold Miss Island at this precise altitude. Anything I can do without hindering my grip, I will gladly oblige, friend. Well then, could you remove the barrier so we can get into it? Oh, surely you know of the evil castle that sits there. It has no place to send a friend. That's still where we are headed. I will not set fire to the danger, I refuse. Uh, what is he doing now? What the hell? What is he doing? Uh. Good morning, Kukar. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like rewinding time and like he just cancelled it out. Master, have you come to check on my work? As you can see, I have not faltered. I command your dedication. Here we go again. Thank you, Master. How could I help? These people are adventurers on a very important mission and require your help. I understand. Oh, because he called me friends. Try it. Try again. <laughs> uh, just the same thing? Please. Hello, Kukar. Greetings, Richard. Have you met my brother Zoro and Yeet? I can help you get to them in no time. Just sail out to my mouth and choose a destination. Really? That's okay. That does sound useful, but for now we need a, what we need. Uh, what we need is for you to remove the barrier on the island. I see. What Robert preach? <laughs> I like that he like because he called his friend, and we made like we basically became his friend. He's just like, no way, you can't go there. Nope, nope. Mm -mm. Well, try again. Make him forget everything. There it is. Thanks, Kukar. Up we go then. Lead the way. I want to see what I want to see how Rashawn plays. What weapons does he have? A withered fork? <laughs> In need of replacement. <laughs> oh. Maybe, yeah, maybe just that. I don't need that on him, but sure, we'll throw it on him. I wonder if he has any dual attacks. He's still looking at us. How does he know we're there? 
Okay, so I can travel and so I go into his mouth. If I leave, I can go into his mouth and he'll spit me out a random uh, or any of the giants. But what about the one down there holding the prison? Autumn Hills. Autumn Hills? <gasps> yeah, this is the messenger level. I was like, wait, Autumn Hills? That sounds super familiar. And it's the same music, except remix. That's awesome, holy shit. That, oh dude, that is, that's, that's awesome. What the hell is that? Are these the enemies? Uh, what are you weak to? You're weak to poison. Oh, that's so cool, dude. God, I hope this game sells really well and like Sabotage Studios, you know, makes more stuff. Like they've only made two games. They made the messenger, which is like their first big, like, you know, hit. And then they decided to make an RPG that was basically homage to all the great RPGs. So like, and in the documentary, they said they want to, uh, they said they want to, um, you know, if they do another one, they might try to do maybe like a N64 level or uh, era game, but they would have to see how that goes. 64, maybe like a different. What the hell? He like dodged and made me take the hit. I'm like, I have a big smile, okay, right now. I have a big, I'm like, it's, it's hilarious. It's, it's funny. It's like, damn, that's, that's some like, like cool shit because like, you know, the messenger already experimented with like, like time travel shenanigans with like, with how like you traverse and whatnot, the tower of time, blah, 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 all that stuff. So, like, if you've never played The Messenger, like, there's, that game, that game is worth the die. Uh-oh, got a key? Nope. <clears throat> but these are definitely not enemies that were, we saw in The Messenger, though. Sometimes there's two. Music is still going, like it's not stopping. Like there's no do -do 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 -do. Oh. Hmm. 
What is this weird item I'm getting? Is that syrup? Uh-oh. Oh, that's why that's there. Okay. No! <laughs> um. Dude, like, there are times when he just jumps down and I'm pressing forward. something up there. Ooh. Oh. Wait, do I have to gather them all up? Sean learn combo arcane moons. What? Tree? Ugh. Oh shit. Oh, I need some. Well, I think it's time for Sean. We see where Sean healing. to be the moment it clashes. Uh -oh. I really need to start attacking, please. <laughs> um, Arcane Moons. Damn, that was pretty cool. God, they keep keep attacking, dude. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of this. Come with a little bit of fire. Ugh. This is the best spot for a shot, but I bet others will follow my tracks. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, I can barely just afford that. I can sell one of these. Another one. I haven't even been using these. I'm not gonna sell it, though. I think I have enough. Okay, so I buy the bow. No. Damn it, he needs oak and armor. Buy that. In case you didn't know what to do with that, I guess this would have told you. Yolanda will know what to do with this. Okay, so I need 50. What do I have that I could sell? I could sell the Dakari armor. Uh, I don't have two of anything else, do I? No. I could sell hard to do. And then sell like a couple. That should be enough. There you go. Alright! And then I can sell the Dakari armor. Now I just. Oh no, I don't have the one. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I remember. So I, just, I don't want to sell everything. I just want to sell, have. I want to have like one of everything. So that's if I want to go back. Wait, I couldn't have even jumped that gap even if I wanted to. I just want to see a door to the merchant. That's what I really want to see right now. Is I want to see the door. 
That led nowhere. Okay, what's the end goal here? Shit, how do I get to that? Oh. You know what? Better get rid of these guys. Shit. Oh. Oh shit! Oh, that's great. That's an awesome move. Well, better just do this just to make sure. Find a camp. So does that. Somehow need to fling myself. I was like, wait, what the hell am I, what do I have to do here? Oh, I didn't realize that that, that one was a movable pillar. Maple core. Heavy for its size. That's a right fine maple core. Send the moon back, bring out the sun. There you go. God, where am I? It's very confusing, like what, what I'm looking at here. I want to see a door. I just want to see a door with two like torches next to it. Oh come on! I hit the button for it. Oh my god, we're so hurt. Oh no, this is. I almost have to just swap. Yeah, I'm, I almost have to just do this. Uh -oh. Uh oh, don't hit everybody, please. I don't know the timing on this though. Is it when it explodes? I think that was the moment. J. 
Jesus. Give me a break, dude. Okay. I heard it. It's when you stop hearing the the pot and then you hit the button. You know what? Let's see what item roulette is. I don't know what that did. Oh, it turned back the time on him. That's actually pretty cool. That could be really useful. Oh my God, it's so, so much ESP. One more of those and I should level up. It even has the underwater muffle version of the song. See if there's anything potentially. That's a nice little touch. I like that. A parfait! Still underwater? Oh wait, I know it just brought me here. What the hell? Where are we going? Shrimp. 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 Well, I don't want to have to go through that again, so please. Ugh, I need a rest spot, please. Oh my god, dude. I need a rest spot, like, super. Yeah. We're all so hurt. It sucks. Ugh. HP back. I need to do bring the merchant back in. Why oh, keep saying the merchant, Rashad? I mean, he's basically the merchant. I am so her and need mending light. I just had enough to do it, too. Shit. What is this? I wish I could, I wish I could kind of look, move the camera. God damn it.
that spiky thing back there? Oh my god, give me a rest spot, please. Please. It's been so long since I've seen one. Oh my god. Ugh. I can stop one of them from attacking. Can't stop them all, though. Shit, he doesn't have any freaking. Oh my god. Put a little bit of magic back. I see he's doing a shield just for a little bit of healing and to take one hit. Cool looking. Uh oh. Fuck. Oh no, she has no freaking. Damn it. Oh wait, that counted us too. Them off, please. Oh, my love off. Oh, thank God. Oh, beautiful, beautiful level. He needs some magic, dude. I have to give him magic. He's like super too low. More defense. A lot of defense. Man, it's magic. Oh, I got a level two, eh? All right, here, pick one thing. Let me get a little bit of that. Uh, uh, about my magic attack, yeah. I'll be his magic user, yeah. Shit, I should really give the magic stuff to him now. I need more magic. MP seems to be like a really, really valuable thing. Please give me a rest spot right here. Dude, how has there not been a rest spot in a long ass time? Here, gather them all up. Dude, I couldn't even see him. Dude, please just give me a freaking rest spot. My kingdom for a rest spot right now. Hmm. Through the mushroom fields? 
Isn't that also another level? Yeah, there's a mushroom area in the messenger. Oh, thank God. Cook. Now we have to get more of the base. Oh, shit, I can make a lot of these. I don't know what it is, but it might be good. Did I rest? No, I hit cook. Oh. All right. Wait. No, 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 no. No. Wait, am I about to fight the boss for the messenger? When the moon shines bright on autumn sheets, comes forth the abomination of roots and leaves. Yeah, I remember finding that thing. Uh, no! Oh my god, I gotta turn him into. I gotta turn him into the boss. Are you saying that we created? We created that monster. Hell, I created it. Oh. Oh. Oh, it is that thing. Oh, is it gonna be the same? I gotta wait till his leaves fall off. Uh oh. No. Okay, so I gotta wait for him to do that. I remember you. I'll take you out. Ugh. Oh shit. So I can't really do anything then. Like, I have to wait for... I basically have to wait for him to, to shed his freaking leaves. Then, like... Basically, I gotta wait till he throws his leaves and then hit him as hard as shit. Now. Flashing too, like, like in the messenger. Shit, damn, that is such good attention to detail. Um, just build up the bar. Don't you hit me, will ya? Take this. I 
I don't have like a wind move that can like get rid of it either. Throw your leaves, there you go. What if it's because I have to like... Let's see if I can finish him off with my ultimate. Wait, do I have to expend one to do it? How do I trigger her ultimate attack? No, I sure. Boy, ah, has fallen. What's up with that fanfare? Oh, bring it back to daytime. The hell? Where's the sun? <laughs> Weird, it didn't look like the sun was out. Yeah, hey, Rugovs. Was that him? Was he the? Was he the one that played the flute? Twenty years ago, in the village of Moon Cradle. Oh, we're getting flashback now. Come on, Rugovs, you're going to miss him. We don't hurry. Ugh, ugh. Wait for me! <gasps> oh, the young old man! There you are, little ones. We're too late. I want to see the headmistress in her battle gear. How does she look? As fabulous as ever. How long is the cleansing? Maybe we can catch her when everyone returns. You just might. Today's cleansing will be performed by the biggest group to ever take down a dweller. You can expect a swift return. Maybe we should just sit here then, huh? Uh, don't forget to do your chores now. Oh, come on, we don't even get a break for the eclipse? Not if you want the twins to play with you later. Fine. <laughs> be good now. Whoa, I can feel the magic coursing through me. You mean you don't always feel it? Tingling? No, this is new. I wish I could see Headmistress Moyara fighting. I bet she takes down the dwellers on her own. She could, but the twins have to do some spin and flips and combine their weapons like they showed us. Right. No more Eclipse, they must be on their way back now. Hey, so when we grow up, will we have to fight big monsters too? That's the plan for us, just like every, anyone else born on a solstice. Doesn't that scare you? Not really, it's not like we will be alone. And no matter what happens, I'll always protect you. You know that, right? Rugas? Fine, you sleep. I'll keep watch. A 
a few hours later. And they have returned! Wait. Hell, more rain in the grave, it's gravely hurt! And only Moraine survived. It will take him a while to heal, too, by the looks of it. At least the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. But we lost so many. We are on the twins. Moraine will never be the same again. Hey, does that mean he's the headmaster now? Who else? A few months later at Zenith Academy. Focus, Brewgrass. You'll never become strong enough if you don't develop your innate magic. I'm trying. Then try harder. You are way too slow. Hey, how about a bit of patience? Do not interfere! Or what? Erlina! That would be all for today. Grumpy old man. Hey, what if we left? You mean right now? Why not? I can move the platform now, so maybe I can also open the Forbidden Cavern. Sure, it beats staying here. You always wanted to be like Moyara? Over 20 Solstice Warriors died that day. And what, we just move on? I was dumb, I don't want to be here anymore. I never want to be one. No matter what I do, Moraine always says I'm not fast enough. I just feel awful. I know, Brewgrabs. There's a way out, I'll find it for us. Well, I'm cold. And I'm hungry. We're helpless. Alright, let's go back. Back to learning magic, yay. Later that year at the Winter Solstice Festival. Look, the Great Eagle. A new child of the Solstice is born. Read the name. What the oh, the Eagle is just a bird that drops off the child, the children. It's just a stork. What the shit? Valer! Welcome, Valer! May Luana's might protect you! May Luana's might protect you! Six months later, at the Summer Solstice Festival... So they're not brother and sister? I thought they were born in pairs. Did you hear that? The Great Eagle delivers on two solstices in a row! A blessed year. Come on, read the name. Zael! Welcome, Zael. May the Solon's light guide you. May Solon's guide... Blah, 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 blah. A few years later... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> now we're talking. Keep it up, Valer. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, the stacks are ready. Oh, are you two joining us? 
There's plenty for everyone, but I'm not sure we can show you our secret hideout. No time. We have to report to the headmaster. Okay, but please don't look which way we're going. Last one there does the dishes. I remember when we were that age. Zell, Zell and Valer always make me smile. We should leave now. Our next meeting is today at this. Right. Are we kid- oh, oh. So, you're willing to hear us out this time. Why is she always looking up in her portrait? That's weird to me. Like she's always rolling her eyes, but she's caught in the part where she's looking up and almost cross-eyed. You would rather do the without the burden of the solstice war in your life, yes? A fresh start, perhaps? What exactly are you offering? A way out! You will deem our terms interesting! Interesting and fruitful, too. Then speak up. We will handle everything else, but only Solstice Warriors can conjure a blood moon. But this world will be destroyed. Not before you not before you get to leave it for one more favorable. For one a more favorable one. Can you guarantee Brewgrass will be safe? Alina, I Naturally, we have ways to make you forget, if that is your wish. Forget and become stronger, too. So, what will it be? The Dweller of War isn't that powerful. You know we could take it. Of course, but that other one... That other one no one knows about in the mountain that wipes memories, it's been growing for a long time. See, here she's looking forward. Like she's actually, like that feels like that's her actual picture. The acolytes could be bluffing. Not given the knowledge they had of the, they had of the matriarch, plus it explains the seal. Can't you see this world is doomed regardless? Moraine never stopped being a mess, and the kids are way too young to be of any help. Can't accept leaving Zell and Valer behind to die like this. We will add a condition that they can go on and live with you. Wouldn't you like that? What if they refuse? The Acolytes need us for the Blood Moon. They'll have no choice but to accept. Not them, I meant. Hey, wait! pretend for now we'll talk later and this is where they were first introduced there you are playing in your secret hideout again we're training I think I can use magic now is that so see we're her, like her picture right there is looking forward but like every all the other scenes we saw with her she's looking up what the shit oh, Lair. Please understand. Please accept. But there's fish! Oh my god, is this gonna be called the Quill Shroom whatever? Song Shroom Marsh. I don't know if that's what it was called. I it was called something else. Lake Turquoise. Alright, well, let's fish. We gotta see what's here. <gasps> no! Go back. Go back. How many fish are here? S three. Okay, hold on. Starfish, swordfish, and whatever the hell that was. Let's take a look. Okay, I see some crabs. Okay, there's the starfish. Okay. For the crab first. I think the fish that I need is the big, yeah, the swordfish. I need the skinny long one. Oh my god! I don't think a crab is gonna freaking fly out of the water. 
Get over here. Get over here. Got it. Got a clockwork crab. Alright, let's try to get this really fast. That one. Jesus. Fast. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jump out of the water. Come on. Ow. You're right. You're. Dude, I was gonna say, you're right here. Sword. Oh, it is just called a swordfish. Alright, now for the starfish. Starfish? It's weird because people only ever see starfish, but like they don't see when the starfish like moves around. It's got weird alien like tentacles, little small tentacles that come out. Ninja starfish. Damn, that's cool. All right, the fish are done. Hey dudes, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay notified of future episodes and content. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy today's video. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch at L083. And if you feel like supporting the channel further, become a patron by visiting my Patreon, which helps me to pump out more content. Link is in the video description. Thank you all again, and I'll see you in the next video.